Uh, it's a hot one today, dudes, which means we only have a few hours to get stuff done before the early afternoon, because once the early afternoon hits, it's siesta time. Yeah. The humidity really makes you feel exhausted. So it's not even that it's so hot, because I mean, we're used to the heat living in the desert for so long. It's just, uh, you just feel slow, I guess, with so much humidity. Any hoots, we are over here now by where Smalls is, and Smalls has our water container. That's what we were using before we got the well, and we don't want to have our money go to waste. Nope. As well as our trailer tank has only has like a 30 gallon capacity, so we're literally filling up our water tank in our trailer like every, every other day. Other day. Uh, so to solve that problem of having to continually be on it and filling it, we decided we were going to make a water tower using the IBC tote and a bunch of these pallets that we have left over. So it's very, very simple. We're going to try to use the gravity system yep. and um, we will still have to fill it up with the well, but it'll at least we will only have to fill that thing up maybe once a week instead of having to do the trailer like every day, every other day. Yep. So that's kind of our mode of thought. Plus, then we'd have that water tote out of smalls and then we'd be able to use smalls for like going to town real quick because right now all of the driving around that we have is only with biggie yeah so. biggie's our gas sucker right now mm -hmm. it's a gas hog are strong baby that thing is heavy I gotta screw this pallet set together. Right now, Melanie's cleaning out the holding tank as best as she can. So I'm gonna screw this all together, completely level, so we can put our water tank coat on. It's hot. It's really hot. Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? So, thank you guys so much for all of the uh, blessings. My back's still not 100%, 100%. Um, definitely still taking it easy a little bit. I'm not gonna do any heavy lifting or doing anything crazy or anything like that, but I've gotta get this water tote situated. So I'm gonna have Melanie get all the parts uh, cut, whatnot actually show her how everything is explain a little bit of what it is so she understands as well as you guys understand and yeah so let's get at it well Gary just went and got me and I guess we're gonna finish up this project so I'm excited I'm gonna learn some things and we're gonna have a nice full tank of water accessible to our trailer at all times 
without having to run the generator and run back and forth constantly. So it's gonna make things really nice. Oh yeah, sorry for the noise. We are next to the generator. It is what it is, guys. Upgrade life, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, where are we starting with first? What are we doing? We need to attach this right here. This right here is your fitting for this. If I open this guy up, we've already filled it, so if I open this up, we're gonna have a lot of pressure coming out this way. So, I've got all the pieces and everything in this bag. Let's look in the bag of tricks. Let's see. Got a cutter. I need the that guy, grab that arm. There you are. That's your main pieces right here before we start doing PVC. So before you do anything, you gotta take this piece off of the union. This is a union right here. Okay. So this is the two inch piece. Put the union down, grab your glue. Which one am I using both. first? So you are gonna be using the purple. You're okay. gonna prime. You have to prime the threads on both sides as well as you might as well prime the outside once it's okay. once it's there. But prime it. Alright. This is the basics. Okay. If you have some major plumbing issues, definitely contact a licensed plumber. This is basic plumbing. All Use right. priming. Alright, prime that. Now prime this guy. Let that dry. And you gotta prime the threads on this. What this does is it cleans it and it makes it to where if there's any thing at all in there, it's gonna clean up everything. You have to prime both. I like gluing both sides itself just because it's more. <laughs> Jerry always likes to go extra and be extra. So you're gluing the threads. And they didn't have what I normally had or what I normally use, which is that blue glue. But this is fine. It's meant for PVC. Now you don't want to go ham on it or anything else because it's just you want to tighten it as much as you can by hand. Completely and utterly. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you're using plastic. You don't want to grab a tool and try to get in there because you're going to break it. So what we used is we just used the purple primer for PVC pipe uh, and CPVC pipe. And then we used the regular clear PVC cement. So. Yup. All right, that's done. So now what? Now you've got to prime this piece right here. We're getting really good all the way around. and sticking it all together. Yep. Now you glue the inside and that guy. Now when you go to put this on, there's going to be pressure pushing back. And you have to twist it literally like a quarter of a push. So push it in straight as much as you can and then quarter turn and hold that pressure there for at least like 30 seconds. Glue on me. It happens. This is why when I get done, I look like I'm a smurf almost. Usually when you use the blue stuff. When I use the blue stuff, yeah. Now we've got the purple and the blue going on. I'm like, what the heck? So quarter turn it going in or go in straight. Keep going and hold it straight. Hold it. Hold that guy just sitting there just like that. tell you guys this right now as we're doing this if it doesn't work out the way that I'm hoping I do have a solution there is one thing that will cause this not to work this is a gravity fed situation so I'll let you guys think about it while we're doing this and we're gonna see if we can make this work I hope we can I hope but if not you gotta, you gotta back up back up
So now, Prime. <laughs> See how little tedious, but it's super easy, isn't it? Yes. Out of that guy. So now we've got this piece all set up. We've got to get the uh, pipe coming in from here. So what we've got to do now is I want you to measure from here out of the foot. How long is this guy? Basically. That is. How, how long is that? Well, from here. Oh, from, from, this, the, from that the base, one. from the Union base. That's about five inches. Now we've got to go out, how, many, how long for that pipe? Seven. Seven inches. So measure seven inches on that pipe. Okay. Okay. See where it is? Right there. I forgot to it's grab you a right mark. Here. No, it's right here. Okay, you know where that is on know that? where it is. There you go. It's basically like a razor, but you're dealing with plastic, so it bends sometimes. Okay. So now, prime one end of that. On the outer and inner? Outer. Prime the outer. You're going to want to prime both ends of it. Just FYI, but you can do one end at a time if you want. Just like the same, get it, sorry, get it in, hold it, hold it, hold it in there. You don't want it to back out. That's what creates that back pressure on the pipe and pushes it out. <coughs> We're not really dealing with a whole lot of pressure, but. Picket. We need to go a foot out and two feet down. All right, so this should give us good pressure from our holding tank. We already got a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, water in here. It's 275 gallons. So that's already a lot of pressure, and we're going off of the one inch. All right, so that, that's massive. The thing that's going to be the draw is the trailer's only half inch. So we're going to lose a lot of pressure the second that we go into the trailer but we're gonna hope that we get enough pressure. If not, like I said, I got a fix for that. So, we gotta go two feet down. You're doing really good, baby. See that barcode? Yes. Right, cut right up that tip. We're not gonna have enough pipe, baby. I thought I had another piece lying around somewhere. I'm gonna have to go hunt.
now we gotta run that to that. All right, you guys, so we are back out on day two. We ended up running out of PVC pipe. We went to the store on Sunday, and yeah, everything's closed on Sunday. <laughs> but one of our friendly neighbors was like, hey, I got one inch pipe. It's a thin wall, but you guys can use it, definitely, you know. So, so thank you, Larry and Linda. We appreciate you guys. You guys saved the day. Yep, this So we're gonna get this finished up for you guys and get this all squared away. Let's do it. My wife is learning really well and I love it. Twist that guy into that guy. Now we need to hang this thing up off of this tarp. So to keep the pipe up and also at a level that we want it, we just use some bungees one on top, one on bottom, and it should be good to go. Now is the moment of truth. Let's see if uh, all this works out how we want it to. Dun, Got a little water leakage down in the front area. Hold this. I think it's because of that. Can we turn it off? Yeah, turn it off. All right, you guys. Well, we tried hooking it up using the gravity system outside with the big IBC tote and the gravity system is not really working out the way that we want it to. The water is not going through the pipes correctly. So what Gary has planned is we're going to bypass the holding tank in here, which is 30 gallons. We're going to completely bypass it. We're going to go in through the fill hole right there and that is going to have a hose that goes outside to the IBC tote from there in here to the pump and that should work off of the DC power so we don't have to run the generator it's going to work strictly off the batteries and now we will have about uh, 270 gallons at our disposal instead of the measly 30 that we got so yeah. let's get it going Gary how are we going to do this so it's pretty easy actually all I'm going to do is take off this fill tank right here so I've got a flathead ready. Take off this guy right here, this clamp. If I can get this flathead to work with me. Yeah, it should be loose enough. Now I got this guy out, right? Yep. Put that down in there. This, just put that over there. Yep. Now we got a hose that's gonna come through there and come down to the pump. I'm gonna remove this board right here so I can access that pump. actually going to be replacing this pump as well this one right here is only like a what 1.5 I'm gonna find out real soon but it's right around there and this one's a three this is a three awesome so it's gonna be twice the amount of uh, pumping power oh yeah oh 
the screws are done. This guy's got to come off. And as you can see, I'm using my hand. It's all plastic. You're not supposed to go like He-Man Hulk on it. Because if you do, you're going to break the plastic. Or break the actual things. I might have some water come out. Where's the rag? Give me... Oh. Grab a rag. You hear all those air bubbles. We're going to have to bleed the system. Definitely. Since I'm doing this. Have a little bit of wa more water. I see it down at the bottom, but it's all right. So now this is fully loose, as you can see. I've got my red and my my black. So I'll bring up these three screws, real or at least four screws. Where are the other two? There's one, and there's one. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is replace the old with the new and continue with the bypass. This tank is just going to sit here. Um, so if we ever do want to do camping or anything like that in the future and we're not hooked up to the big IBC tote, we can just easily connect it all back again. Uh, but this should work out really good for us. Fingers crossed that we're going to be able to have 270 gallons accessible to us at all times and it's going to pump with the DC power. That's the plan, that's the hope. And I guess uh, we'll find out. Okay, so now we disconnected the old pump completely. We got these wires here. So we're gonna take the new pump. Alright, so now you can see that this hose that was going to the outside fill, to the inside 
30 gallon holding tank is now null and void. We've just kind of set it off to the side so that way if we want to use it again in the future we can. But we have the garden hose coming in from the outside. I'll show you the outside here in a minute. But it just comes on down right here and straight connects to the pump. So we're all wired, we are all plumbed, we should be good to go. Uh, we're gonna go and give her a test drive. We're not hooked up to our tank, you can see that. <laughs> we got nice pressure coming through, we got hot water coming through, I turn off my cold, the hot water's hot. We got pressure. Yep, so everything's good go. all good. We got water and yep. it works at 270 gallons on demand right now. Yeah. So that's awesome, guys. Uh, let's take you guys outside and show you guys what's going on with our whole system out there. Guys, well, here's the setup all fully done. Got the big uh, water tote piped on down this way, piped through going this way. And then it's being held up with some bungee cords for now, which actually works out pretty good, gives it a little swing, and it goes right over there to the inlet. Again, this portion right here used to be the water fill for the holding tank, which was just the 30 gallon tank, but you guys saw us change that all out. So now we have this big old tote of water available to us at our disposal whenever we want water. We just gotta fill that guy up with the generator and we're good to go. So originally we were trying to set this thing up to do just completely off the gravity feed system. Since it wasn't working, we had to think outside the box. Luckily, there are four adult heads on this property that can do a lot of thinking. And Anthony actually had a really great idea on bypassing the inside 30 gallon water tank and just connecting it straight up from here to the pump. And so that's what we did, it's working out really great so yep. thanks again anthony for the uh, idea definitely appreciate it big bro uh, but yeah it's working out great guys we love it we're gonna have water for at least a week to possibly two weeks at a time now okay. uh, without having to fill it up so it's gonna save us a lot of time it's gonna save us, save us a lot of aggravation as far as us all taking a shower and then me having to do the dishes i'm not gonna have to run back and forth fill to fill daily. it up in between so yeah going to save us a lot of uh, time, energy, aggravation, all that stuff. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, and again, this is our temporary setup for the trailer life, for camp life, but it's a little improvement and every little improvement makes life easier and it just helps out. So High five. High five. You did a lot of that build right there, baby. Yeah. I appreciate it. My back yeah. is feeling a lot better, yep. but I'm glad that you were able to step up and actually get this back. Hey baby, you, you can count on me. You can count on me. I got this. I like it. You I can like count it on me. So guys, we're gonna get to relaxing, enjoying this oh, evening. Yes. Sorry that this video took so long to get out for you guys, but as you guys seen, we had a lot of hiccups when it comes to the uh, building materials. Ran out of PVC pipe, and then I had to go to the store and get the other part so we can hook it up to the pump. We weren't originally planning on going that way, but again, adaptability guys when you're out here living this way you got to learn to be adaptive yep. and to just kind of go with the flow and that's what we've been doing at the end of the day we got 270 gallons at our disposal i'm happy with it everything turned out great and it's working so yeah. all right guys we are going to call this one a video we got more coming down the pipe for you guys we got a lot going on this weekend so i'm gonna be filming that editing that out and you guys are going to see that in a video coming to you very soon but in the meantime, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later, you guys.